Think about this. If you're pouring your life force into a woman and getting absolutely zero ROI, what's really taking place? Brother, I'm, I'm telling you, you, you're giving your life force away. And, and, and like the Bible says, it's a slow path to death. Because without life force, at some point, you can no longer exist on this plane. You know what I'm saying? At ease. It's your boy, Soul Immortal. I got asked a very interesting question a few days ago by a young sister named Keisha Anderson, right? And her question was, she wanted to know what women were lacking from a male's perspective, right? Now, it's hard for me to make a video strictly for women with men making up 70% of my channel. So, so I have to make a, a video that's going to benefit, you know, both women and men. You know, this will be information that, that a woman can store in her mental toolbox, as well as information that a man can take to the field and, and observe, uh, observe what's going on, right? So today, I want to talk about a few things. Of course, I want, I want to briefly cover a few things that, that women are lacking in 2020. But, but ultimately, my third point, I, I really want to dive into something that, that, I, that I usually just skim the surface on. So guys, if you only watch one video of mine, this is the one you need to watch. Today, we're going to discuss why we must avoid the emotionless woman. Let's talk about it. So sister, one of the things I'm noticing that women are lacking nowadays is simply conversation, right? See, long gone are the days where all a man wanted was, was, was a, a, a cute, fine, thick sister on his side, right? Like th those days are slowly going away. You know, being cute and fine and sexy, that, that'll get you a ticket to the event. But, but, but brothers aren't really holding on to a woman that, that's only a trophy, right? And the reason is two, is two reasons because of this. One is because men are, are, are evolving. Men are becoming more enlightened. You know, and me personally, like, like if I'm going to have somebody in my life and I'm going to give up, you know, time to read, time to watch documentaries, time to meditate, time to grow on a spiritual level, if I'm going to if I'm going to be given a, a chunk of that up to spend time with a particular woman, then that woman has to be filling that void some. That that woman has to be be a source for me for, for me to you know exchange knowledge and have you know great conversation about about certain topics, right? So that's one. Now the second reason on why communication is so important is because is because of female nature, right? You know, men of understanding are fully aware that that if he pours his energy, his essence into a woman, that a woman is is just a, a, a an incubator, right? A woman has the potential to magnify a man's kingdom by ten, maybe even a hundred fold, right? So if a man is pouring into a woman who who who, who lacks the ability to to relay this information properly back to him, you know, it, it is really a lost cause. So, sister, I would say that one thing that women lack is just is just their ability to have great conversation, their ability to communicate effectively, right? And brothers, you know, when it comes to conversation, when it comes to communication, this is a telltale sign about women. You know, a, a woman, a woman that that sucks at communicating with you, it, it's gonna mean one of two things. It, it, it's gonna one show you the caliber of men that she's dealt with in the past, right? If she can't if she can't communicate effectively. And two is going to show you that that she's really not into you. Any woman that's into you guys is going to is going to want to have some kind of communication with you at all times throughout the day, in the morning, before she goes to sleep. She's gonna she's gonna be just 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 she's gonna desire to have that that feed of communication always going going back and forth with you. Now a second area where I see that where where some women lack nowadays, sister is in the arena of modesty, right? And a lot of that is due to social media. 
You know, now let me put my disclaimer out there because I don't want to contradict something I've said in the past, right? Now, I'll say this. I think that it's an insecurity when a man has, you know, you know a fine woman in his life, right? And, and he doesn't really want her to, to express her femininity, right? In other words, he doesn't want her wearing tight-fitting clothes or, or, or maybe short skirts. You know, I think that if a woman, you know, is working out or she just looks good by nature... I, I think that, that it's natural for a woman to look beautiful. You know, you know when, when you're out with your woman, man, you should want your woman to be the baddest one in the room. You should want other men and women to be able to look at your woman and be like, you know, that's a beautiful woman. You know, you know even, even if your woman isn't with you and she's going out with her girls, you know, I think there's still a respectable amount of, 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 of sexuality that can be expressed through her clothing without being disrespectful to her man. So I, want, I wanted to put that out there, right? But the thing is this, there's a very fine line between a woman expressing her sexuality and a woman putting herself on the market for display. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I see women on the gram and they're looking good, they're on vacation, they're, they're in the gym, they're flexing, showing their muscles. But, but again, there's a thin line between you know what, I'm just expressing my femininity and, and now I'm putting myself on display for all men to look at, right? You know, I, I think that, that there has to be something left strictly for your guy, your boyfriend, your husband, whatever you want to call them. There has to be a portion of your femininity, a portion of your, your sexuality that's only for your man. And what I'm noticing is that, is that you know, here in 2020, that, that's out the window. You know, I can, I can get online and, and look at a lot of women and, and pretty much the same thing that hubby gets at night, I, I, can get, I can just scroll up and down and see it all day, right? So that's one thing that, that, that women lack, right? Modesty. Now, this third area is reciprocity. Now, I can tell you, sister, hands down, it's not even close. This is what the majority of women lack nowadays, right? And for you brothers... This is one of those things that, that, that's a non-negotiable. In other words, if the woman you choose to entertain has no idea how to reciprocate, it, it's an absolute flush. It's an absolute no-go. Cut ties immediately. And the reason is, is because the, because the woman that doesn't have the, the, the ability to reciprocate is the woman that Proverbs 5, Proverbs 5 speaks of. And, and I'm going to call this woman, for the sake of today, the emotionless woman, and I'll get into that in a minute, right? So, so to really get the full gist of this, man, we, we, we got to cover this whole area, right? Now, first thing we, we need to understand is that a man's creative power is emotion. Now, I don't, I don't care if you're talking about the, the worldly level. I don't care if you're talking about the spiritual level. That's the universal language, emotion. So anytime you're talking about anything getting emotionally involved, you're talking about creative power, right? Now let's go back to the beginning, right? Let's go back to let's go back to the man that doesn't have a woman in his life. The single brother. The man with whether he whether he just can't find a woman or whether he just not he just chooses not to entertain women, right? This brother, this brother talks about uh being celibate. This brother talks about about uh no fap or, or whatever you want to call it, right? Not 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 entertaining women sexually, in other words. Now a lot of brothers engage in this, and a lot of them really don't understand what's taking place. See, again, what I said is all energy, I mean, all uh, uh, creative power is, is emotion. So what a brother is doing is he, he's, he's withholding exchanging sexual energy with a woman to hold all this emotion within himself. And what he does is transmute it to the spiritual side to get that tenfold or a hundredfold in creation that he would get with a woman. It's almost, like a, it's almost like a life hack, right? Now, this is the thing, and this is what, what brothers will notice to, 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 to uh, confirm what I'm saying. When, when brothers you know, are holding out and they're getting this urge and they're getting horny or whatever you want to call it, once that brother goes into his mind and meditates and creates his own world, which I clearly talk about in the recipe. If you haven't got the recipe, you need to get that. Uh, at the end of this month, the sale is going off. It's going up to close to $100. But I clearly talk about this in the recipe, right? 
And what brothers will notice is that 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 urge they have in the physical world, once they transmute it, th then that urge on the physical level, it slowly starts to go on away because that emotion is going to the spiritual side. And that's how they're getting that tenfold, that hundredfold. Right now, let's fast forward. Let's say that a woman comes into this man's life. Right now, what happens now, instead of taking 100 percent of his emotional energy and taking it over to the spiritual side, He's only taking a portion of that over. And the majority of that is going, going uh, uh, to his woman, right? He's pouring his energy. He's pouring his emotions into that woman. Now, brothers, this is why reciprocity is a non-negotiable, right? Because you, you got to think about it. If, if you're taking your creative energy and pouring your emotion into a woman in any way, shape, form, or fashion and getting nothing in return, then brothers instantly you're going into a creative deficit. Instantly, you'll notice the world around you changing. You know what I'm saying? Think about this. If you're pouring your life force into a woman and getting absolutely zero ROI, what's really taking place? Brother, I'm, I'm telling you, you're giving your life force away. And like the Bible says, it's a slow path to death because without life force, at some point, you can no longer exist on this plane. You know what I'm saying? So what does this have to do with the emotionless woman? Again, you have to remember that all creative power is based on emotion. You know what I'm saying? So the woman that can, the woman that can state that she, that she feels a certain, certain, certain vibe about you, but, but, can't, but can't put that in the physical form, it's simply a woman that's come to steal, to kill, and to destroy, brothers. Now, when we talk about reciprocation, you know, a lot of people automatically think that it's all about sex. It's not all about sex, guys. It's all about, it's all about acts. Think about, think about when a man is emotionally uh, involved or attached to a woman. He, he's doing nice deeds for her. He's, I don't know, taking out for dinner, you know, sending her gifts or, or whatever brothers do, you know. So, so you have to understand that the way a woman pours back into you is the same way, you know? You heard me talk a few weeks ago about love languages. I, I know it's not the cool and macho thing to do, brothers, but it's important that you know your love language. Why? Be because it's, it's important that you let your woman know, like, hey, you know what? This is how I, this is how I receive that energy back from you. Wh whether it's acts of service, whether it's a uh, 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 physical touch, whether it's whatever the, you know, the other ones are, these are the ways you get that energy back, guys. So it's important you know that your woman, if she's down for you, she wants to know how to get that energy back to you guys. But yeah, anytime, anytime you have a woman that, that, can, that can say a certain thing, but her actions don't back it, I mean, you, you're simply just dealing with a woman that's, that's, that's struggling between being a Proverbs 5 woman and being a Proverbs 31 woman, you know? But the thing is this, guys, at the end of the day, you have to understand something that, that even even when you attract these women into your life, you, you can't be mad at these women because, because you have to understand that that any woman you attract into your life. Right. It, she, she's only a reflection of who you are. So when you encounter the, uh, encounter these women, it, it's just time for you to step back, have self-reflection and, and, and to elevate from that point. So, again, shout out to uh, Miss Keisha. You know, I think that was a very good question, you know, to identify, you know, where women are lacking. You know, one thing I think that women should understand is that even though, even though, you know, we as men are very simple creatures, you know, as we elevate and become, become more conscious, we're becoming more complex in the way that we think, in the way that we operate. You know what I mean? We're starting to understand that that just having a cute face and a banging body again, this will get you through the door. But but but, you know, all of that, all of those extra bells and whistles are, are necessary compared to what we really need. And, and what we really need is a woman that 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 understands, you know, who she is and what she is and what her real value is. Right. And a woman that's uh, that's down to implement that. So again, what women lack. It's your boy Solomortal, and I'm out. Eddie!